is Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff, who just so happens to sit on the Intelligence Committee. Uh, Congressman, thank you for being with us. I want to put the same question to you that I did to, to Congressman McKeon about the notion that we just learned 80 to 90 administration officials knew about this action to trade the five Taliban leaders as prisoners of Guantanamo for Sergeant Bergdahl, and yet the reason that's been given by the administration for not sharing it with Congress, even though the law says they got to be informed 30 days prior, was the leak issue. This doesn't seem to square. What's your defense of this administration? Well, I tell you, it didn't sit very well with uh, those of us who were listening at the briefing. Um, look, I think the president had the constitutional authority under Article 2 to make this decision uh, without consulting with Congress. But I think it would have been wiser, far wiser for the administration to have notified certainly the leadership of Congress in the interest of having good relations and comity with a co-equal branch of government. So they should have done it. It was a mistake that they didn't. And, uh, and the fact that they, there were so many people within the know of the administration doesn't help their case. One other fact I'll raise is that most of the leaks that have taken place have come from the administration and not from Congress. Uh, so they really should have uh, brought uh, at least the leadership within their confidence, and, and I think that was a mistake. So no defense from you, uh, a Democrat from, from California, as we're hearing from other Democrats as well. Let me ask you about your position on the House Intelligence Committee, because Secretary of State uh, John Kerry told CNN that the, the way to handle the circumstance we now find ourselves in with respect to these five uh, Taliban, uh, you know, prisoners who've been released, is that if they, and I'm going to paraphrase, if they start behaving badly, we have ways to kill them. Uh, how? Exactly how would this happen? Do, do we have a CIA agent posted to them 24-7 for the next year? Uh, no, we don't. Uh, we don't have that capability, but uh, I think what the Secretary is referring to is if they go back and join the fight, and, you know, we have to be, I think, candid and, and uh, acknowledge there is a risk, certainly, that they will. These were senior Taliban uh, commanders, uh, and a certain percentage of those who have been released from Guantanamo have rejoined the fight. I think what the Secretary is saying is, if they rejoin the battlefield, we're taking a lot of their people off the battlefield, and we may take them off the battlefield but how uh, in a body know? bag. I hear you, and well, that's wonderful yeah. to say that, but ultimately, how do you get the intel, and since you're on the House Intel Committee, how do you get the intel that they've got nefarious actions uh, in their roster? Well, you know, we, we have pretty good intel that will tell us if and when they rejoin the fight. We may not know precisely uh, when they do. We may not know immediately where they are. Uh, but ultimately... Congressman, do you uh, know? Like, yes. are you aware? Has anyone briefed you on, on what that intel... Look, it's serious. These, these guys are in Qatar, and, and no one knows exactly uh, how free they are to go about their business and move about the country, how we're watching them, how we're going to determine that Americans will stay safe ultimately for the next year. Have you been briefed on how that will happen? Well, look, I mean, it's not possible to guarantee for sure that these people are not going to return to the fight. We'll have a better sense, I think, from uh, of where they are while they're in gutter during the course of the next year. But after that, it's going to be very hard to track them, to trace them. Uh, and, and the fact is that there's no way to eliminate the risk. I think there are ways to mitigate the risk, but it is a, a real risk. And that's why I think that this trade was such a difficult decision for the president because there are real trade-offs here uh, and anyone says there's no risk either to our troops who were making the trade itself uh, who were put in harm's way or the added risk of these people released uh, that may rejoin the battlefield uh, I think can't deny that there is some risk uh, at the same time it's good to have uh, Bo Bergdahl on his way home uh, and uh, we can't have 535 people in Congress making this decision. We have one commander-in-chief who's got to make the call. It was a tough call, and I respect the decision that he's made. Congressman Schiff, it's good to have you. Thanks so much for being out front tonight. Thank you. Be well.